are we are live, everybody. I uh, just want to tell you really quick, Brendan, yeah. that these two girls behind the camera, producers of the show, fangirled. So. Oh, it's awesome. Now, now look what you're in for. Uh, <laughs> we're out of Atlanta, and I want to tell you oh, the most a recent memory is you played the Tabernacle, and the floor broke. What was it like for you being on stage Dude, seeing that? <laughs> we literally got into like 30 seconds of the second song, I think, and then something cracked, and I, our buddy Zach ran on stage and was like, hey, hey, we have to stop the show. I was like, so for like a song? He's like, no, for good. Like the, the floor broke. <laughs> so we, we got off stage. We ran downstairs to where the merch is underneath. And every beam was just cracked. We're like, wow, we really did a number on this one. So, yeah, we bring the heat, you guys. We broke the tabernacle. That's, like, legendary. So I sat. This was one of the, the New Year's Eves. I sat in my living room watched you in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. But how cool is it to play a, a New Year's Eve show when you know everybody is, let's be honest, drunk out of their mind? Hammer drunk. Yeah. It was amazing. Like, uh, you know, they give a little bit more. when they, they have their cue guy who comes over and he's like, all right, guys, get crazy before they start recording. And they just went nuts. There was no inhibition. It was awesome. Man, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Did you? Were you able to have a few on stage? I did, actually. We, uh, <laughs> we have a pre-show ritual. We always have to do at least a double shot before we go on stage. <laughs> We might have done a few more, <laughs> so we were definitely loose on stage for sure. Oh, Brandon, man. I would just like to be, like, on the bus on tour with you just to see the I, amount of, <laughs> of partying that goes on. We, we like to have a good time for yeah. sure, yeah. Do you, um, when you first started doing this, did you ever thought it would come to doing a show, like, on New Year's Eve or big shows, you know? for no. For, honestly, Fall Out Boy you that kind of went hand in hand and yeah. then, you know. You just kind of took off after, you know, after that. Yeah, Pete and the guys in Fall Out Boy opened up a door for us in the beginning. That, I'm immensely grateful eternally for that. Um, being able to do stuff like this, I never pictured us doing that. I think when we started the band, we figured, all right, 10 years in a van in coffee shops, maybe we'll move up to bars at that point. Maybe yeah. we'll move up to, like, you know, 200 cap rooms at that point. We never, we, we didn't really know. Yeah. We were so green to the whole thing. And then when stuff started taking off on the first album, we just didn't know how to handle it. We were like, what's going on? Uh, let's see if you can handle this here. Uh, uh, Kelsey <laughs> is Come a huge, one, one question, Kelsey, you okay. can ask Brendan here. Really oh, quick. Go ahead. Come on, girl. Oh, God, put me on the spot. Okay. Um, what is your favorite song to perform? Of ours? Yeah. Mm, that's a good question. I like doing Good Time. It's our, it's the song we start the set with, Amazing and it's song. just ridiculous. It's, it gets me amped. Can I have the mic back now? Because <laughs> she was, she was going to come give you a hug. All right. I want to close the yeah. interview by playing Extreme Jenga. There's a question on Wait, HP. So yeah, is that what is that a, is? Yeah. So you pull if you want to pull from the bottom, from okay. the middle, from the top, and answer the question on there, if you can do it. If you if, take if it this, down, Brendan, it's all – I mean, this, how it's you, extremely hard. Yeah, this is – so I just pull from the top. Yeah, right? pull from the top crazy. if you want to know. It's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Weirdest compliment you've received – uh, I, th you know what I think? I think some uh, a fan had asked me something about my forehead. Oh no, they said yeah, you have the biggest forehead I've ever seen, and I th I thought it was a compliment. I'm not sure if it is. I'm more of a comment on my <laughs> my obstruction <laughs> of a head. Now, but I thought that was cute. It was cute. Will you sign my forehead? Absolutely. I'm, kidding, man, <laughs> man. Well, I'm in signing mode. You, if you just get in the way, I might, <laughs> it might happen. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Last last question. Now that we hear the the music and the people warming up back there, do you get the itch to just hey, let me run out on stage and? Dude, every time if I go to a bar where there's a piano dude like doing covers, I so badly want to get up there and just like that scene in, in uh, uh, Bill and Ted where yeah. Beethoven kicks the girl off and he's just like playing the keyboards yeah. and the thing. Like, that's you. That's me. I want to do that awesome. every time, man. Dude, you'd be fun to hang out with for more than five <laughs> minutes, man. Come I hang. I Come appreciate hang. that. Well, when are you in Atlanta in uh, April? April. Yeah, I remember giving tickets. April that's Chino's, right on yeah, my birthday at, at the Gwinnett Arena. So we, Duluth, we're Duluth. We'll be there. Absolutely. Hey, thanks so much, Brendan, for Always. stopping by the Adam Please. Bomb Show. Uh,